One thing in our culture that we all agree on is that human life has value. Human life has dignity. But one thing that we don't all agree on is what that actually means. Many in the culture of today say that life only has value or dignity when that life is convenient or healthy or has quality. This can easily lead to what St. John Paul II calls is the culture of death. And what he means by that is that we just simply get rid of or dispose of human life that we don't see as having value or being convenient. And it's a slippery slope because many people can be hurt in this kind of culture. We have to respond as Christians and as Catholic Christians by really working towards what John Paul II calls a culture of life, a culture that supports all human life, beginning with conception until natural death. For us, dignity doesn't just mean that a person is convenient or has quality, but sacred dignity means that this person is made is created in God's image and likeness. We know this from the very first chapter of Genesis in, in creation, verse 27. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. This shows us that even though God had already created the world and all the creatures on the earth and the fishes of the sea, that the one thing that set man and woman apart from all the rest of God's creation is that he made man and woman in his own image and likeness. Also through the rest of scripture and revelation, we know that human life is valuable because God's only son, Jesus Christ, took on our human flesh at the incarnation when the Blessed Virgin Mary said, let it be done unto me according to your word. That because God himself not only creates life, but redeems life by taking on flesh, and of course redeeming it through his passion, death, and resurrection, that every human life, whether one is a Jew or a Christian or an atheist, every single person, whether or not they know it, is made in his image and likeness and is redeemed by Christ. This is why the church upholds the rights of all human people. And we believe that personhood begins at the moment of conception. A person receives his or her soul at that moment when the sperm and the egg come together and form a zygote and an embryo. Science tells that, but we know from scripture and theology that that's when a person begins his or her own life and the life needs to be protected from that moment forward. This is why all forms of abortion are always wrong because to kill a human life in the womb of his or her mother is always wrong. It's murder. It's against the fifth commandment. And so while certainly there are obviously difficult things that come up and the church is always there to accompany men and women in difficult pregnancy circumstances, we can never ever um, allow or encourage the sin of abortion. But abortion is not the only sin against the dignity of each and every human life. Human life has to be protected at all stages, even when human life is sick, even when human life has cancer or a debilitating disease or towards the end of human life. Remember that even though we are created for eternal life, every moment that we're given in this life is meant to serve God. And when people are in very bad circumstances, whether it be health or sadness, we can never condone the intentional taking of human life in order to relieve suffering. This is sometimes called euthanasia or a happy death, which is really not a happy thing at all because it's taking the life, it's killing someone who's innocent in order to take away their sufferings. The church teaches that it's better to accompany a person and giving them not only the best medical and palliative care, but also good pastoral care so they can make sense of their suffering with Christ. Even people who may not necessarily be suffering from disease, but who want to end their life because of a lack of, of joy or happiness in this world, yet again need good clinical psychology and also good pastoral care to help them to realize that their life, even when they're not feeling happy or joy, still has great dignity. The church is there for them. And this is part of promoting a culture of life. 
Indeed, a lot of the hot-button issues of our culture today, especially issues relating to sexuality, a lot of these are controversial. But remember, even the sexual issues are controversial because sex is meant for the generation of human life. And because we believe that human life has great dignity, it means that we have to protect human life from all stages, beginning with conception and ending with natural death, but also safeguarding the union of husband and wife and holy matrimony. The church is here to support the culture of life through building up a family of life, a husband and wife, a holy matrimony of life, focused on serving God in this life so that we can be happy with him forever in the next. I'm Bishop Joseph Strickland. Thank you so much for viewing this episode of The Way of Christ. It is an excellent resource for growing in your Catholic faith, for deepening your life in Jesus Christ. You can purchase your own copy of The Way of Christ at stphilipinstitute.org slash store. God bless you and let us continue to grow in his light.